So the guard will make his rounds in three, two, one. There he is. He's prompt, but apparently not all that competent. Because whenever we leap out the window that is way too high for us to reach normally, he doesn't hear us. That scene has been redacted because it would make too little sense. As if the rest of this game makes total sense. What are you so surprised about, Link? Everything looks the same as it did. Everything looks super beautiful. Seriously, this environment is like the combination of all the best atmospheres to me. It's raining, it's a little bit misty, it's evening, everything's glowing a little bit. It's just so beautiful. Midna has shape-shifting powers, by the way. Another thing that the game never utilizes again, unlike Super Mario RPG. She says again, you have to do exactly as I say. Thanks for telling me what I need to do in the creepiest way that you possibly could have, Midna. Really appreciate it. This game might not be all that colorful, but... whenever you come out of a world that's all orange and then go into a place that's green and yellow and blue, it seems really colorful, in contrast. Oh no, I'm still a wolf, I forgot! <laughs> yeah, that's... kind of tough beans. And then Midna left, but she didn't really leave, because you can see her shadow down there. Seems like that would be a graphical glitch, but it is not. I really like the idea of her hiding in your shadow. It's just cool. Yep, cooperating with you. This is the third time that you say, you have to do exactly as I say. You can never trust words, so just trust mine. She needs a sword and a shield that will suit her. Interesting statement. Although something tells me that her tiny imp body is not going to be wielding those weapons. Someone else is, who has experience with a sword and also a slingshot. It is basically medieval Dennis the Menace and Bart Simpson. Monsters have invaded the village. That kind of sucks. On the plus side, once we kill these monsters, a squirrel talks to us. The highest of honors. They kidnap the village children. Just, just pointing that out. Now, there are a few things in this game that seem like really big, important details, and they're mentioned exactly once, in one line of dialogue, and uh, usually by a less-than-important character. It is kind of implied that the kids are missing through the rest of this situation with the village, and the fact that you don't see the children, but... It's still weird that the only way that it's directly stated is by a squirrel. This part, I think, is fun. You have to get close enough to hear what they're saying, because the text is not big enough otherwise. So what I always do is I sit here at this picnic table, and I pretend that I'm ordering food. Hey, barkeep. I would like some dog food, please. With a side of a bone. Oh.
Yeah, this is where it mentions that the sword is the present to the royal family. But I would think that the royal family probably has enough swords. And what's a random sword from a village in the middle of nowhere going to be? Or what is it going to be worth? Then again, I don't live in a royal family, so might be a high honor. This is an overly epic shot. This angle, just with the moon and everything. And this shot is reserved for a relatively minor character throwing a bird at you. Take this, fiend! Dodge's bird is of no consequence. Master's husband. I like that the cat considers the wife the master and the husband is just kind of there on the side. And the cat says meow in the English translation of the meowing. So he falls into the water and dies. He must have evaporated before hitting the water, because no splash! No splash, Captain Hook. And we're in another house. With a bunch of creepy dolls in it. What is this? This kind of looks like a character from Wind Waker. And it has nipples for whatever reason. Here's another thing that looks like a puppet. Like a scarecrow puppet. Drawers have pumpkins on them. Whoever lives in this house is cooking some nice swamp sludge. Sorry, just admiring the details. So many different details. We found it! Darn it. I don't understand this jump. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I feel like if you're on the edge of the table, it should work. And I was pretty close to the edge of the table, but it just didn't work two of those times. Da na 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 we got the Ordnance Shield to float above our nose, and then we put it on our back somehow. You look kind of cheap, Midna. Oh! I'm sorry, Midna, I didn't mean it. Now time for a sword. Notice how the other guy didn't make a splash when he jumped into the water, but we make a splash, and someone hears it. Consistency. Russell got injured, despite being the one person in the village who has a sword. I guess maybe he was protecting his kids. That worked out. I'm being too cruel to him. Hello, frog. Yep. Frog is telling us about our senses. Use our senses, plus I made it so I've played it. I'm not bragging, I'm just trying not to be like Kyan. Senses aren't that useful, but they are useful for a few things. I'm trying to look for another frog. There's another frog that has funny dialogue. Just lampshaded filler text. It's awesome. Also, I like the chicken. Or the cuckoo, as it is called in Zelda. To be a wolf on a night when the moon rides high. Beautiful. Just so overly poetic for such a... a goofy creature. So now we use our senses to dig into the house which has more fun details in it that I'm not going to observe, because nobody wants to hear that. And we got the Ordon Sword. Another stick. Only this time it's an iron stick. Stick. 
Why can't she just teleport us closer? That seems like something that she should be able to do. She teleported us out where the creatures were and the big thing appeared in the sky, the big vortex. Her teleportation powers are very selective. I think she can teleport anywhere if she's just on her own, but whenever she has to teleport something, then she has to use a vortex. Or as I call them, missing no. All the vortexes look like just bum uh, bundles of pixels in the sky with no set pattern, so I like to call them missing no, because they sort of look glitchy. Wait. Come to my spring. That's exactly where I'm going, stupid. Stupid talking spring water with glowing text and therefore you're important. You've betrayed me! Yeah, here's missing no now. And he just poops out a shadow beast. The same ones that we saw in that cutscene from earlier, except much, much, much slower. They just got lazier over the years. Pretty lights show. This stupid effect coming up. You see this water droplet? Just watch. It just bothers me because the outside of that water droplet, look, that, the part that looks like a crown, it happens a little bit too early. So... I don't know. It feels out of sync, so it doesn't feel as much like a water droplet as it should. And we see that a few times in the game, and it just bothers me every time because it seems like they should have fixed that. But that's not important. We are talking to a holy being, which very closely resembles the things that we bunched into a, a barn earlier. Ordona, that's fitting. This is Ordon Village, after all. Or actually, this is Farron Woods, so... No, Farron Woods, no? Yeah, this is Farron Woods. So why is Ordona in Farron Woods and not Ordon Village? Anyways, his brethren, other light spirits, that one looks like an asterisk, or not an asterisk, an at sign. My friend pointed that out a while back, he, saw, he thought that it looked like an at sign, and I agree, so I'm going to follow that light spirit on Twitter. The blight will not stop with Hyrule. Before long, it will enter Ancient Nippon, and then a different wolf in a different game that plays very similar to Zelda will have to defeat the Blight. The three Light Spirits have to be revived. That's a little bit misleading, because there are four and he's one of them. He's just referring to the other three. Coincidentally, only one person can redeem the light, and it is us. It's a good thing we're here, or uh, everything would be screwed. Zelda games always have perfect timing. The moment something bad happens, the one possible hero comes to save the day. Just is born at the right time and in the right place. Alright, so let's, uh... continue moving forward to Halloween World. This big black and orange block that covers a wide expanse of Hyrule. I know, we were, uh... Yeah. 
Alright. As long as I don't get pulled in violently by some hand. Okay. 